with other children, with the elders, with the grandmas and grandpas, and all the parents, not children just growing up in one family, which doesn't exist anymore, because it's basically in the modern world, it's a single mother family. It's a single mom raising the kids. And that creates a myriads of different issues. It's the worst thing can happen. It, it is cool now, you know, that couples don't even get married and a lot of moms, they want to have a child so they find a host, they find a guy to get pre pregnant from or bringing a baby in a tube or whatever. And now you're raising a child and obviously single mom needs to work and make a living so she's not going to be available for the kid so the kid is growing up in a nursery and with nannies so there is serious abandonment issues there and there's serious anger so and we can see what a mess we have entered into as as a race and even if there is parents Still, it's a disaster because how many of them last? How many we have, people here been married two or three times and they have children from different people and the kids are abandoned. <clears throat> this system doesn't work. You don't have to be uh, go and study rocket science or quantum physics to realize that it doesn't work. You don't even need to go to school. You just use your common sense. This system doesn't work. As simple as that. So why not? Let's blow it off. Forget about marriage. Forget about this commitment that you get married to this person and you have to be committed to them sexually for the rest of your life. Because it's bullshit. You naturally are attracted to other people and you want to try them. Maybe you exercise that, maybe you don't. But you have to be allowed to be able to do it. That if you want to have sex with someone else and it's going to be free, safe sex, you have to be allowed to do it. Not be cut off there because you got married to one person. So that's another sexual repression being put on you, which is going to twist your mind because all you're thinking about is you're married to this woman or man. And after a few years, all you're thinking about is you're thinking about her younger sister, or her best friend, or other women. All you're thinking about all day long is other women except your own partner. And you lose your sexual juice for them. It doesn't work. It's not working. And the kids, and that pressure on the parents to cater to kids, at home, it's so much pressure on them, which if we change the system, parents will create kids, the couple creates kids, but the kids are living in a commune with other kids. And rather than having one parent or two, they're having lots of parents. They're getting a lot of love. And of course, the parents can go and spend alone time with their kids. They're allowed to do that too, but they don't have to. And kids are not forced to be in one home with one parent or two. Now they have access to grandmas, grandpas, the village, the society, who's collectively loving them and catering to them. So kids would never experience being abandoned. They're never left out. And the parents are not in this situation that they have to work all day long and rush to the um, nursery school to pick up the kid. And then they have to spend time with their kid. 
when they're exhausted and tired and they have no energy at the end of the day. And now they can't even have sex anymore because their energy is gone. All of a sudden we create space. And we tackle a lot of the issues from everyone. So all of a sudden sexually you're not restricted anymore. Because you don't have to be with this person. Yes, you made babies with them. Now you don't have to be with them. That pressure is gone. That you can have sex with somebody else if you want. So it just opens, creates space. And as things open and it creates space, it becomes healthy. Because the energy is flowing naturally. It's not restricted. And when we do it correctly, we learn that sex is not just an act of da 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 da. We could be, but now we can, since we're not really deprived from it, and we're not repressed, then, okay, I can take time with my partner and I can build this energy and I can raise the energy from the base of the Kundalini, from my torso, from the first chakra, I can build the energy and bring it up to my fifth chakra, to the heart, to the fifth chakra so I can express and then I can bring it to my third eye so I can see and have wisdom and lead it to the crown chakra so I can have access to cosmic consciousness, to sexual energy, something which is free and it's readily available. So people can openly approach each other and, and offer that to one another. So it becomes free and available to everyone. And it doesn't have to be twisted. You don't have to trick people to it. Because there's no need anymore. It's become available. And it's there. And it's okay. And it's encouraged. And it's educated correctly. So it doesn't, we don't have to cultivate diseases. And we don't have to be hush hush under the, behind the scene to do it. Now we're understanding it. And we're using this energy. Um, hi, hi, Sara Lee. I'm unmuting you. You wanted to ask a question. Are you there? Uh, Lee, are you there? Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, nice to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you too. Um, yeah, it's great listening. Um, this is this is a this is a brave topic <laughs> because this is. A, yeah. yeah, this is the top. Uh, I've always been very sexually active, right? Uh huh. Even Congratulations! Very... Congratulations! Yeah. That's why. That's why you yeah. look so good and you're healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always loved sex, but the thing is that um, you know, like, oh, hang on, there's this that coming in, but um, the thing with me is that I've always been sexually active, right? And uh, I find now that since I've gotten older, right, that my libido is changing somewhat. And I feel a little bit disappointed about that. Right. So, 